Hi, let's see how to create a code based element inside a no code element in Boomla. So let's start by creating a no code element. I go into the UI kit package, which contains no code elements, and pick a simple page layout. Um, you can see this element in the object tree. Uh, this is the page element, and this is the layout. Now, let me add the code based element. I go for the UI kit code package and maybe select a list element. I drag it onto the page and let's um, find it in the object tree. So this is the page layout and this is the list itself. If I make this panel wider, you can see the file types or object types. And this list element has a built-in uh, JavaScript engine type. If I open the file's body, you can see the HTML code. Um, you can also change it. I come here and save it. You can see changes. And I said it's JavaScript engine, so it's inverted as um, PHP is, so you can embed JavaScript into HTML. So let's do that to verify that it actually uh, runs on the server. And I'm going to print the path of this object. So f.path, f refers to the current object. So in this case, it's the list. So let's save it. And you can see the path shows up. Now, uh, this list element is a code-based element, so we could tweak the code. On the other hand, this layout element is a no-code element. So if I click to open the file's body, you can't see it here. It's not here because this type specifies uh, how this element works. So instead of tweaking the code, you can come here and go into settings to apply changes to it, or also use the built-in designer to select parts of this uh, element and apply changes to it. So for example, you could come here and change the background color to uh, something you like if you want. So this is no code element. Um, yeah, so that was a simple example of embedding a code based element inside a no code element.